Hi professionals, this is Utkarsh Rai and today I am going to talk about feeling lonely due to deaths, shaken beliefs and helplessness during COVID-19. Hardly a day has gone by in the last few weeks without getting overwhelmed by the death of someone whom we know. A bright and cheerful former colleague who used to spread infectious smile lost his life. He was the strong pillar of support for his family and the sole breadwinner. Is this the fruit of good karma? Another friend of mine, an epitome of empathy and care to every living thing, died without getting support from anyone. Two stray dogs whom he used to feed started crying two days before his death and continued to mourn and refused to eat. But sadly, his human friends deserted him. What happened to humanity? A first-time father couldn't hold and see his five-days-old child before losing the battle of life. These three deaths shook me. Many of you might be having similar stories. Loneliness has descended upon us asking for an answer. Loneliness should not be confused with being alone. Roseanne Ritchie, psychotherapist, says, being alone is a state that offers mental and physical freedom. But loneliness is a feeling of isolation and emotional abandonment. It is a feeling as though nobody is there for you, nobody understands you, and your feelings are not to be considered. Loneliness will lead to dire consequences, so it has to be dealt firmly. As per the report in Harvard study, there are three types of loneliness. Interpersonal loneliness, existential loneliness, and societal loneliness. So continue to watch my video till end to understand all these three types and what you should do to overcome them. And if you have not already liked and subscribed to my channel, then please do it. Interpersonal loneliness. People are rethinking about the time, what they spent on social media to bond with their friends who were not there in the hour of their need. Some of them are wondering whether they have friends. Technology has connected us superficially, but disconnected us emotionally. So what you should do? First, are you really happy with this feeling that you don't have friends? You are not. Then why don't for your own happiness think differently? Do you know what the other person is going through? Do you know why they didn't come for support? So why don't you give them a benefit of doubt for your own mental peace? Second, Reach out to two people per week and talk to them. It could be that they are also going through the feeling of loneliness and they are also asking the same question. Do I have friends? And ask them to do the same to others. Things will slowly change for you and for others. And third, yes, it is good to reduce time on social media, but don't swing the pendulum other way to just to shut it off. You need to be present in this virtual world, but with restraint. Second, Existential loneliness. By seeing so many loss of lives, people have started asking the fundamental question, what is the meaning of life? Mother Teresa has said, loneliness and feeling unwanted is the most terrible poverty. So what you should do? First, what is important for you to lead a good life? Write it down. Writing is going to help you immensely. Write it, what you already have it and what do you want? And then write the steps which you are going to take to achieve what you want and take actions, whatever is there in your control. This is going to give a feeling that you are moving forward and distract you from the pain. Second, keep helping others. There is a feeling in the hour of need that the people whom you supported, they didn't reciprocate. But universe works in a different way. You help someone and someone else will help you. So without having any expectation of reciprocation, continue to help others. And third, gratitude. Be grateful to what you have and thank those who have helped you in your hour of need. Third, societal loneliness. Some people are still having social stigma due to COVID-19. You should watch my other video. Why me? Why I got COVID-19? And how can I overcome fears and doubts to answer many such questions like social stigma? But societal loneliness is much more than social stigma. It is a feeling of getting disconnected from the external world due to quarantine, lockdown, working from home, and so on. This is going to lead mental health issues like depression and anxiety. So what you should do? Look the glass half full. 
you always wanted to have some time for yourself. Now you are saving time from commute and also from social media, which you have just realized. So why don't you pick up some art, learn some new language or subject, catch up on your reading and most important, regain your mental and physical fitness. Why don't you set a goal to surprise your colleagues and friends by being a transformed person when you meet them in future. Mandy Hayes said, a season of loneliness and isolation will make the caterpillar get his wing. So he spent the time in self-development. Professionals, loneliness is not an option. We all have to pick up our lives and move forward by adopting the steps suggested in this video. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.